Happy to see you again. Well, likewise. We were doing a movie about the past. We were also telling a story about the person. How do you think the story of Ernest Cole is relative to what's happening in the world? Well, you know, it's a condition for me to, to make a film. It's, uh, I, I try never to dwell in the past, but it is to answer questions. And I think the, the screening uh, we saw yesterday, it was really, I could feel the, the questions about, you know, you, you, you ask yourself about what's going on today in the world. Uh, about war, about about existential questions, uh, about the, the history of a man whose work disappeared for more than 40 years and how finally it, it comes out and is preserved. Uh, the whole anti-apartheid struggle, you know, and, and how the Western powers uh, react to that uh, fight, blindness, about uh, the suffering, the lies, you know, like saying we want to help uh, the black South African and at the same time you continue to support the regime. So I think we have many plenty examples to feel totally in the world right now. Or I think the movie by telling us also that it's not only the, the negatives that they found in the vault, but also there are vintage pictures that Swinton himself now they are willing to give it. I read finally that they gave them back in May. No, May 7th. May 7th. You know, like a week ago. A week ago. So do you think they only gave it back because they knew that the movie would be screamed down camp? What do you think? <laughs> I think so. Well, no, they, they realized when the film was announced, even before Cannes, uh, they realized that they had to do something, you know, and... and and the last moment was like last week. Uh, but the story is not finished because we still don't know uh, who put uh, the rest of the negatives the, the, or the bulk of the, the negatives, the 60,000 negatives in the bank vault. You know, and, and uh, nobody still can say, you know, how they get there, who put them there, how long, uh, who pay. Because, you know, a bank is not going to to keep three big bucks in a vault without somebody paying, you know, they, you know, like a little vault like this, you pay at least one to two thousand dollars a year in the bank. So imagine how much it costs. So the story on that side is not finished, but I didn't know that's not the story I'm interested in. You know, uh, the story of Ernest is the main story. Your work is deeply anti-apartheid and so it too, I'm not sure if you are saw it in Ernest Cole. You are ending also the movie by showing us how the struggle against apartheid is continuing. Do you think you, you would like one day also to do a movie about what's happening in Palestine with the Palestinian people? Well, thanks God, I don't have to do that because first of all, it's very complex. And second, there are great uh, uh, Palestinian filmmakers, there are great uh, Israelis filmmakers, very critical, uh, who have done film before, who are still doing before. Uh, I, I have a great friend, Ademari Jassir, who's shooting a film right now. So I'm, uh, thanks God, there are a lot of people uh, uh, working and there have been a lot of footage being shot in Gaza right now. And, and I hope we can do something with it later on. Uh, but it's, it's good that I know there will be film and, and it doesn't have to be film for right now, but whatever happened in the future, I know we will have to tell the story the right way. Thank you. Thank you, thank you.